Hey friends, welcome back to the channel with more Ruby. This is volume two, chapter one. And after Blake and Weiss worked it out last time, uh, the team feels more whole than it ever has. And I'm looking forward to seeing how they continue to work together uh, in facing challenges in the future. But yeah, new volume, uh, I'm guessing new opening. So let's check it out. Hmm. Rooster teeth. No opening yet. Hmm. Haven't seen him in a while. Oh. Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> Not really from around here. Um, would you mind pointing me in the direction of the shop? I knew you were lost. Mercury, I will seriously pay you to shut up. That's <laughs> not your money. But it could be yours for five minutes of silence. Mm, no deal. <laughs> Fine. Whatever. You want me. <laughs> she picked the dust guy's pockets. So how much farther? A few blocks. Oh, this place is so dull. Meh, I kind of like it. Tall buildings, diverse culture. And nice dopey people who are easy to pickpocket. That's <laughs> every city. Ooh, Emerald, Master Thief! Please don't take my money. I barely have enough to get by. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why she wants him to shut up for five minutes and be willing to pay for it. Ding dong. Right there. Welcome to Tuxin's Book Trade, home to every book under the sun. Every book? How may, uh, how may I help you? Just browsing. Actually, I was wondering, do you have any copies of The Thief and the Butcher? Yes, we do. That's great. Would you like a copy? No, just wondering. Oh, oh, what about Violet's Garden in paperback? He's got it. Hardback, too. Ooh, options are nice. Eh, no pictures. <laughs> no pictures. Hey, do you have any comics? Near the front. Oh, no, wait. What about Third Crusade? Um, I don't believe we carry that one. Oh, what was this place called again? Tuxin's Book Trade. And you're Tuxin? That's right. So then I take it that you're the one who came up with the catchphrase. Yes. And what was it again? Every book under the sun. Tuxin's book trade. Owned every book under the sun. Except the Third Crusade. It's just a catchphrase. It's false advertising. You shouldn't make a promise you can't keep, Tuxin. I hear you're planning on leaving. Moving all the way to Vacuo. Your brothers in the White Fang wouldn't be happy to hear that. And neither are we. You know who we are, don't you? Yes. And you know why we're here? <sighs> yes. Yeah. So, are you going to fight back? Yes! Ah! Nah. Huh? Unsuccessfully. with that. Eh, I like the pictures. What you doing? Nothing. Just going over notes from last semester. What you doing? Wait, it's been one semester already? <laughs> she just... Oh my god. Best day ever activities? Weiss. Hey. Weiss. <laughs> Story 
happened seven minutes ago? I had a dream. This ought to be good. Oh God. Yeah. A dream um. that one day the four of us would come together as a team and have the most fun anyone has ever had. Ever. Did you sew my binder? I am not a crook. Where do you? <laughs> I am not a crook. I'm talking about kicking <laughs> off the semester with a What the heck? I always kick my semesters off with a yang. Eh? Guys. Uh huh. Am I right? Uh huh. What? Oh! <laughs> Look, guys, it's been a <laughs> tomato. Between more exchange students arriving and the tournament at the end of the year, our second semester is going to be great. But classes start back up tomorrow, which is why I have taken the time to schedule a series of wonderful events for us today. I don't know whether to be proud or scared of what you have in store. I don't know. Hmm. I think I might sit this one out. Sit out or not, I think however we spend this last day, we should do it as a team. I, for one, think that... <laughs> Ren. Man, that's harsh. So then we were fighting side by side, and she was super fast, and I threw a banana at a guy, which sounds gross, but it was awesome. Mm -hmm. Nice. Right? And the best part is, she's a faunus. But that's a secret, okay? <laughs> Not it. Not a, I'm gonna go tell Scarlet the second son turns his back secret. I'm talking secret secret. Whoa, chill out, man, okay? I got it. I got it. You better... <laughs> I just don't want to screw this up, you know? The people here are the coolest. Food fight. No offense Food fight. Guys. Oh. Taken. <laughs> John. I'm just in here. I'm really excited for you to meet them. So be cool, okay? You're going to be cool, right? Dude. Ding. Good point. <laughs> uh... <laughs> the look on his face. Oh my god, Nora. Oh my god. It will be delicious. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, uh. Yang turkeys? Oh my god, they're her gauntlets. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> is that a baguette? Two baguettes. <laughs> Jean. Uh. This is so ridiculous. Oh my god. Ooh. Shield surfing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a mallet. Oh, she saved her, I think. Oh, 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 that's actually dangerous. <laughs> oh, 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 damn. She hit her that hard with a watermelon? And she put on her turkey gauntlets again. Did he just pick up leaks? Sausages. Sausages. Sausage chain. Oh my god. How are they gonna pay for all the damages? Jeez. 
<laughs> wow. Work of art. <laughs> Just slide off. I love these guys. Whoa. Uh -oh. And just like that, everything's back to normal. Wow. Children, please do not play with your food. <laughs> Let it go. <sighs> They're supposed to be the defenders of the world. And they will be. But right now, they're still children. So why not let them play the part? And that was some battle training. After all, it isn't a role they'll have forever. True enough. What are they? She sent the Doing kids here. again. This is turning out just like the divorce. Oh. Oh. <laughs> procreating. That uh. was a joke. And this just might tell me where you two have been all day. What? Uh. I'm a professional sweetheart. Pay attention. Maybe you'll learn something. Why do you have this address? Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, I would. Now, where have you been all day? Cleaning up your problems. One of them, at least. I had that under control. Two packed bags and a ticket out of Vale said otherwise. Listen, you little punk. If it were up to me, I would take you and your little street rat friend here, and I would... Okay, it is her. Now she's in the dress that's glowy. not kill them? Cinder! I thought I made it clear Cinder. you were to eliminate the would-be runaway. I was going to... He was going to escape to Vacuo. Mercury and I decided to take it upon ourselves to kill the rat. I think he was some sort of cat, actually. Kill what, like a puma? Yeah, there you go. Quiet. Did I not specifically instruct you two to keep your hands clean while in veil? <laughs> I just thought... Don't think. Obey. <coughs> yes, ma'am. It won't happen again. Cinder. And you. <laughs> <laughs> Why wasn't this job done sooner? Uh, 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 uh? <clears throat> Sorry if I've been a little busy stealing every speck of dust in the kingdom. You're an inspiration to every punk with a gun and a ski mask. Look around, kid. I've got this town running scared. Police camping out at every corner, dust prices through the roof, and we're sitting pretty in an old warehouse with more dust crystals, vials, and rounds than we know what to do with. Speaking of which, if you guys wouldn't mind filling me in on your Grandmaster plan, it might actually make my next string of robberies go a little smoother. Oh, Roman, have a little faith. You'll know what you need when you need to know. Uh. Besides, we're done with dust. Okay, then what now? We're moving. Have the White Fang clear out this building. I'll send you details and coordinates tonight. Coordinates? We're proceeding to phase two. Hmm. <laughs> she had it. Meh. Huh. There's a point where it tips, there's a point Ooh. where it breaks, there's a point where it bends, and a point we just can't take.
That was very fun. Uh, the food fight at the start was the best. Uh, or not, that wasn't the start. The start was Emerald and... What's the guy's name? I'll go back and listen. Um, but this is the dust guy from the first episode, I think. Um, Mercury, there we go. Mercury. Had to see his face again to remember for some reason. Hey, but look, they've got like side characters like fully fleshed in, not like just black silhouettes. So maybe they up the budget or time spent on it. Or both, essentially. Um, but they came to kill this guy, Tuxin. Hmm. They're here killing people, Faunus specifically, or people who are loyal to the White Fang specifically. But then later on, when they went back to Roman, he was, um, I mean, in that area, there were a lot of White Fang. They're like working together with the White Fang. So I don't know, maybe is this guy a deserter? Did I miss something? I'm going to, I'm going to watch this episode again by myself, but interesting enough. Um, they're expanding the lore of this series, which I appreciate. Um, seems like they're very competent, but I didn't think, I thought they came here to, I don't know, threaten him, roughen him up, rough, 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 rough him up. Um, but no, they straight up just murdered him. And yeah. Oh, this food fight was ridiculous. <laughs> she keeps, isn't that a little disgusting? It has Nora's saliva on it. She just keeps, ar, ar, ar. um, but yeah, they all have very cute mannerisms. I like how there's someone in the background just like with a watermelon on their desk. Like, are they just gonna eat the watermelon? Entire watermelon? Ow. Oh, Yang. Um, yeah, she was playing the best day ever for the most fun because the second semester is starting and this is the last day. <laughs> I'm not a crook. Uh, the Nixon tapes. Uh, <laughs> I just saw Jean in the background. Jean. I keep seeing Jean. 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 He looks older, actually, here. How does how is she referencing I am not a crook when uh this doesn't exist in the real world? What? But it's, it's just a reference for us who get it. Um that was fun. Anyway. <laughs> the food fight was ridiculous. Uh Ruby wound up wiping everyone out at the end, so. <laughs> Nora. Uh and this cool guy introducing a lot of new characters um, just in the first episode. I don't know if we got the name. I think we got a name, but don't remember it. I'll check it later. Uh, he looks so happy about the food fight. Uh, it will be delicious. <laughs> They're always up for some nonsense. Um, but yeah, their children. The dean just wanted them to... Just let it go. This was ridiculous. Who, who, who thought of this? Using turkeys as gauntlets. I mean, they're having fun, sure, and they're messing around, but it is combat training, technically. How do you, how do you break watermelons with baguettes? Unless the baguettes are like super, super hard, because watermelon shell, like the watermelon uh, peel rind, uh, that's really hard too. Um, but this is so ridiculous. It actually feels like Team Juniper, Juniper, is that right? Yeah, J-N, J-N, Jean, Nora, Pira, and Ren. Seems like they were overpowering Team Ruby until, uh, Ruby's last move. Oop, slip. <laughs> uh, this is really cool, though, seeing them fight like this and... Making a mallet out of a watermelon. She took the blow for her. And the swordfish. Feels like that should have been much more dangerous. Um, but yeah, everybody on Team Ruby got smashed in one way or another. <laughs> no! <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> uh, amazing. And she finds more turkeys to put on her arms. Yeah, this was great. It was a lot of fun. Um, I don't know how they thought of, to do this. It's just so ridiculous. But yeah, we got introduced to a lot of new characters this time. And, uh, oh, every got, everybody got painted over with all the food in the world. 
And she's just capable of, whoop, everything's back to normal. Yeah, uh, anyway, not too much to say about this. Um, we're getting more lore, more characters, so looking forward to dive more into that next time. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, we are one week early. Well, we are one week ahead over on Patreon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, friends.